Oh, hello and welcome back to my Chanel. My name is Georgina and I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. So, as you probably know, every year I look at Eurovision, I react to the songs, I talk about the singing and quite a lot of other aspects as well because it is a whole picture. It's not just the voice, it's not just the dance routine, it's the song, it's everything, it's all of it thrown into one. So today I'm going to be looking at Tattoo, which is Sweden's entry, which is Lorraine, I know, oh my god. As soon as I heard that she was in the running for this, I'm like, this is going to be awesome. Now I have seen a couple of clips we're talking seconds on tiktok because it's so popular you know you're flicking through tiktok like this and there she is again in these two kind of ceiling and floor thing and she's you know and i'm like please no no i'm not ready flick past i'm not ready but today i am ready yes i am i can't wait i've just reacted to uk israel uh, and what was the other one? Austria. All awesome songs. So this, yeah, it's definitely getting stronger a year now. Because some of the early sort of uh, reactions I've done of songs that have come out, I'm like, eh, there's nothing real special yet. But these last ones, yeah, the list is getting more interesting. So I'm going to be looking to, looking at the performance that won her the whole thing. Well, not the whole of Eurovision, but won her her segment of Sweden to get through, etc. Let's dive in. Look how massive that is. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, calm down. Calm, calm, calm. All right, this is good, it's good. Because I, I don't know if I've told you guys, but my favourite Eurovision songs that have ever been is Lorene and also uh, Rise Like a Phoenix. They're like my two favourites. <laughs> oh, now I'm confused. I know I've paused straight away, but what's happening here? All right, the camera's flipped, hasn't? So she's laid down, but the camera's flipped right, right? Look at those nails. Try going to the bathroom with them. Oh, it's very electronic, euphoric kind of dance music, very much like her last entry. Oh, I missed what she said now. I'll go back and look at that later. This is not a time. It's time to say goodbye. Oh, it's very breathy. Very breathy. Until we meet again. Cause this is not the end. Ooh. Very dramatic, very passionate, real breath, breathy tones here. She looks incredible. It's like she's made for this. Do you know what I mean? It will come a day when we will find a way. Violence playing in the angels crying. Okay, so it's starting to build as she's going on. Uh, it's less breath this is a little bit more quality coming through from a chest voice uh this this stage is really good i don't know how they're going to do this in liverpool with the the ceiling and the floor thing because th yeah i don't know i guess we'll see how it's done when the stars aligned, and I'll be there. No the floor, the wow the difference between that soft breathy to these belts i don't know what it's about so far <laughs> a tattoo it's like a tattoo that's yeah i need to just shut up and watch You stuck on me like a tattoo. Ooh, ooh. Now I know this is probably controversial. I'm pouring it out there, and I know that it's supposed to be live. 
but I'm not entirely sure if it's all live. I think there's some vocals pre-recorded on this track and she's adding to it. That's what I think. <laughs> what? I'm losing a little bit of the lyrics, but I think it's just the production of it. Uh, some of the vocals are not loud enough in the mix. The vocals are absolute perfection, which is making me think, there's no mistakes here, there's nothing. It's very, very well done, from the different sort of placements, from the chest voice to the breathy to the... All of it is very clean and specific. It's very good. Violence playing in the angels cry. It's drawing me in. I'm literally like going over to the screen. So good. Oh my god. You're stuck on me like a tattoo, so it's it's the drama of a relationship or something like that. But it's it's not many of these songs have given me the shivers. Estonia gave me the shivers, this has given me it. Oh, what was that? What she was like, I don't know, was she telling somebody something? I didn't know. Wow, I'm loving that. Feels very Kate Bush. <sighs> every piece of her soul, every piece of her being is performing. It's fire. It is live, it's totally live. Wow, you can tell with the breath that it, oh my god, she really is that good. Are you with me? This could really win. I I oh my god. I know everyone's saying it could win. But that's because it's Lorene and she's come back again, so she's in with a good chance, etc. But seriously, this is really good. It's the emotion that we need to drive us. It's... <sighs> that riff of the breath control. Yeah, I think quite a few of the countries this year should just maybe stay at home. I think this may have already won. Wow. Oh, my actual goodness. I've got the shivers. This is fantastic. That euphoric sort of feel that it has. Her vocals are phenomenal. The way she is totally controlled by the energy. It's outstanding. This could be the winner this year. It really could. And if it is, I don't mind. I can listen to this quite a few times. Anyway, there's a few left. So let me know what you think. Is this the winner this year? I think potentially it could be. Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to check out my vlog if you haven't seen it to keep up with what I do on a daily basis. Well, kind of. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.